Hello everyone, welcome to Very Real Estate Channel. We are in Sunny Chengdu and we continue to introduce you to real estate world in Bali. Today we have a special guest from one of the largest development companies in Bali, uh, Milan, the sales uh, director of Elot Property. Hi, thank you for having me here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for uh, for coming here and letting us. Uh, no problem. Welcome yeah. to one of our projects. We are very curious. Can you tell about uh, your um, company, Elot Property? What do you do? What are your specialty? Yeah, for sure. So, Elot uh, Property, we are a property developer in Bali. We've started in 2010. I joined the company way after as a sales director, and we built uh, over 100 villas over the past. Uh, 13 years now. Wow, it's impressive. Thank you. And uh, what we are all about is quality. Our quality is number one thing for us. And uh, most people in Bali knows us for our quality. What projects are you currently involved in? What is under the construction and uh, what have already been built? Great question. As a company, we have uh, five different entities. So we design and so we have architecture team. We do have our construction, then we do have development project. We also do villa management and we also do real estate and we resell villas. And currently, if we talk about the development project that we have, this year we have 48 villas under construction. Wow, <laughs> exciting year. Yes, it is. It is a very exciting year for us and we are scaling and we're getting to the next level and of course Bali is growing, people coming to Bali, they investing so that's a good opportunity also for investors to come and invest in Bali and buy properties. Yeah. You just mentioned that you have like five different uh, kind of projects in, in, uh, sure. in your company. So you basically offer a full cycle of, of service. Absolutely, from A to Z we find land, we design and we do the architecture, then we do the construction yeah. and also we can help our investors to manage their villas and also market their villas for daily rental, monthly rental and later when they want to exit their investment and they want to resell their villas we can help them from that side of the thing in our real estate. Very convenient for, for an investor and just yes. right away, right? 100%. 99% yeah. of our investors are from overseas. They don't want to come to Bali. They don't want to get involved. Yeah. So we want to make it as easy as possible for them. And now we are in one of your development projects. That is right. right yes. Which is accomplished already. Yeah. So this is this was a project with six villas. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is right in Brawa, the heart of Chengdu. Yeah. <laughs> and this villa is called Villa Na. Mm -hmm. And this is a six bedroom villa that we built, uh, I think, three years ago. And also, this is for sale, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I can run you through the villa and show you what we've done. And if you have any question about anything, you can ask. Sure, let's go to take a look. Sure, let's go. Okay, the, the style of the villa is uh, modern or it's uh, industrial. It's it is, this is industrial design and we are in the like a garden, okay? And as you see here, in most of our projects, and I can tell actually in all of our projects, we use a steel structure, but with our industrial design, we don't cover the steel. Yeah. So you can actually see the steel structure. You can see the structure of the building completely here. So how big is the villa? How big is the land? So this is this villa is 270 square meter, and it's six bedroom, and all bedrooms come with its own bathroom. Oh. And this is on a 3.2 ara land. For those that they don't know the ara, it's 320 square meter land. How did you feel like six bedrooms in this? It was just <laughs> magic. <laughs> Let me show you around. Okay, let's go. So when we when we talk about construction and it comes down to building a villa, the quality is really important. Sure. And quality starts from the design, okay? How detailed the design process is going to be because that allows the construction team to be able to understand what to do next. And then it's the material that we use. So for example, if you look at the kitchen, the material, everything is high-end. And that makes the villa look better and yeah. also last 
longer. So that's why the investors keep the villa for like 10 years, 12, 15 years, mm -hmm. and then they can still resell it and they can also see the capital growth and they can make money yeah. also on their villa from that point, okay? And also another thing, if you look around this villa, you don't find any humidity, any cracks, and that comes down the quality of the foundation and the structure and the material that we use. How do you manage to avoid the humidity and uh, all the signs of oh, quality? Great <laughs> question. So what we do for our foundation, we use micro pile foundation. So we dig in and there is a steel pipe and we okay. do injected concrete. And then on top of that, then we do this steel structure. And also in other things, we, uh, the other side, we use double layer walls mm -hmm. from the inside that stops the humidity. And also using the steel structure in Bali is very important because we do have a lot Definitely. of earthquakes. Okay, small earthquakes can cause cracks. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge problem uh, for, in the structure, but it can look, uh, it can make the villa look really bad in the in the, in the long run. Yeah, I, I hear that you managed to put a lot of attention to to the quality, as you said. It's Absolutely. really rare in Bali because a lot of people just build and... Uh, For sure. In Bali, most of people, they just build, but we do follow the European standards. Okay, we have a great head architect that is uh, all about uh, paying attention to details. So that's why we can get the quality like this. So this is one of the bedrooms that's downstairs and as you can see it's a spacious enough okay. yeah and also we do have the bathroom and also walk-in closet here so the bathroom is the pretty space. spacious as well 100 <laughs> percent so the way we use the space is just very important also in this one we use that beautiful garden in the back to just give it that Balinese feel and the soul is there a uh, master bedroom or all the uh, bedrooms pretty similar? One of the bedrooms are bigger than the other ones and you can come and have a look. So this is the second floor. So this is the master bedroom and as you can see it's more spacious than the other bedrooms. That's yeah. for the families. So design again, uh, walk-in closet and also huge bathroom shower. Oh wow. It's like another room inside that room yeah here you go so if there are most of the people that they come here look they buy these villas they use it for a daily rental yeah and people that they come here for daily rental they want the villa to look good be spacious and offer some extra features like a big bathroom bathtub and uh, other stuff coffee machine and I see a lot of uh, small details here. Do you supply everything when you manage the villa? Absolutely. So what we do here, we, uh, we have a term called turnkey. Yeah. So we build the villa from zero to 100. That means at the end, all these towels, glasses, appliances, plates, everything is in the villa when we finish and we hand out the key. And also if the investor wants to basically manage their villa also with us, we start advertising their villa two months before it finishes. Mm -hmm. So like that, when it finishes, we already have like... Straight away. Uh, yeah, we already have guests booking the villa. So Amazing. that's another way we can maximize the ROI for our investors. Talking about ROI, uh, can you elaborate more about the profitability of uh, purchasing villa and uh, daily rental resale? And for sure. Others? So there are a lot of different factors, okay, for the ROI is one is location location is always important with real estate and most real estate investors they know that so if you're in a good location then your roi goes up then it is about the quality of your villa and what you have to offer for example there are villas that we do and they have jacuzzi they have ice bath mm -hmm. and those are the extra features that adds to their roi Another thing is number of the bedroom, very important. Okay, so the more bedroom you have in Bali, the more money you make. Yeah. Because then you can also target the Indonesian market. Because we have 280 million Indonesians in other islands that they come to Bali mm -hmm. for vacation. And they usually work, uh, look for bigger villas with more bedrooms. So ROI can vary based on location, size of the villa, 
features that the villa offers, quality of the villa, okay. and also right uh, marketing and management team which is very important. For example, with our management, we've been able to achieve like 92% occupancy rate for some of our villas. And for example, this villa that you are in, the, the ROI on this one is roughly 21 to 22% net profit. Wow. That means the investor, they get their money, their initial investment back within like four and a half years to five years. Okay. So, it's so, profitable to come and invest in Bali. <laughs> what is more profitable? Talking about resale and rental, short term, long term? 100% short term, okay, daily rental. So if you can uh, buy a property that you can rent daily, you make more money, absolutely. Okay. Because you rent it like for more money and also if you can uh, hit that occupancy rate of 75, 80%, that's a very good position to be in and that is like okay. 24 25 days a month what about if, if the investor wants uh, basically earn faster just uh, build buy and sell that's another strategy that they can use okay we usually when we talk with our investors we ask them we ask questions like what do you want to do how you want to do it but the best idea is the best strategy that I've seen is you build a villa you rent it out for four or five years and after mm -hmm. four or five years it's a good time to exit again it comes down to how many years of lease you have on the land yeah. okay so there are a lot of factors but five years is the sweet spot that's where you don't spend money you don't need to do the renovation and you still can sell the villa for more money so you make a lot of money there Five years is enough to uh, return the investment? If, if the villa is in the right location and it's managed and marketed properly, yes, for sure, yeah. Okay, so five, seven years, I would say. Five to seven, five yes, to seven. maximum. Well, we are finishing, I guess. Uh, thank you for uh, being here today. Oh, you're very welcome. Inviting. Thank you for inviting us and thank you for coming to our villa. <laughs> yeah, thanks for showing it. It was an amazing welcome. talk and I guess we brought a lot of uh, useful information to our viewers. Thanks guys for watching and stay till the end. Uh, stay tuned for another bunch of exciting videos about largest developers in Bali and if you have any questions about this property or the service of Elot property you can go right down below and click the link and our managers will contact you.